Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside the box of Heroes of the Nam, Lock and Load Tactical System by Lock and Load Publishing. This is in their uh, more modern era, obviously, uh, 60s and 70s, but uh, post World War II, so this will use the more modern rules. Um, so, uh, this is a new printing, um, bringing in uh, you know, all the previous printings and expansions and stuff, and putting them under. Uh, you know, one in one box. So uh, let's crack the seal, take a look at what's inside. I mean, I needed a knife here because somehow this one got peeled. So, well, let's go. This will be my first foray into the Vietnam era with lock and load. So let's see what we got going here. All right. Two dice. One and green one. You can get your module rules and scenario book. Uh, full color, full color, nice artwork. It's 82 pages of scenarios and special rules. How many scenarios are there? Let's see. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 25, 26, 27 scenarios. You can play this a long time. And remember, the uh, solo, uh, Lock and Load Tactical solo, will work with all of the Lock and Load Tactical games. So, play by yourself if you want to. Alright, so they're full color. It's nice artwork, nice maps. The filler, you know, the filler, the filler stuff is uh, you know, top quality. Look at pictures. Got a lot of different forces here, it looks like. We've got Americans, Australians, Viet Cong, got the Arvin, North Vietnamese, where I said that. Uh, they got the events that are going to happen based on. Uh, uh, I don't want to show you too much of that. Awesome. Okay, uh, one thing that's nice that they've added here is on page 9 of this one. It says that they've laid out the the scenarios are laid out uh, chronologically. So if you're new to the system, it recommends uh, like River of Perfume as your first your first battle. Um, Limson 719, Introduction to Armored Vehicles. And Stay Behind is a small but intricate scenario giving new players an introduction to helicopters. So uh, while they lay out the scenarios chronologically, they do uh, guide you through uh, learning, you know, adding in the rules, adding in the different uh, um, uh, special features of of this particular battle theater combat. All right, then you get the Lock and Load Tactical Modern Era 1960 to present rules, just like it's uh, uh, sibling the uh, uh, the World War II and beyond and before era. Uh, this will um, this one goes up probably a little bit bigger. I think 73 pages. Right, it explains all the all the rules as if you've never played before, uh, because obviously modern era is going to have slightly slightly different rules, different ranges, different uh, gear that you've got to worry about. So that's what you there. So you get one of these in every modern game, and then the modules and scenario will be different based on the game you're playing. So it looks like you're going to get five counter sheets. This is a sheet of uh, just markers, okay. Fired markers, ops complete, stealth, uh, abandoned, spotted, rubble, tunnels. Oh yeah, oh yeah, tunnels in Vietnam. What a mess. Okay, so then we've got another sheet of counters. Usually you get small counters, medium counters, large counters. These are a couple of small counter sheets. There's the regular ones. Okay. This is going to have some special units, heroes, uh, single man counter, multi man counters, things like that. With a few more markers here and some weapons. Then you get down here and you get the regular counter sheet. So you got different forces, tanks open closed, uh, hero skills, multifaceted healer, ball, lucky man, eagle eye. Uh, when you create a hero, you'll draw one of these, and there'll be a chart that shows you what you do with them. We have Rex, 
we have uh, armor. Um, as always, their counters punch cleanly and quickly. All right, very nice, very smooth. All right, very, um, very thick quality. Got a nice heft to them. So we got those there. On the counter sheet, more troops, more weapons, some uh, weapons teams, events. We have events for uh, when we're looking in the book. The events that will occur when you're in the line of sight of a marker, when you occupy a, a hex with a marker. Those will show up. And then another set of forces here. Okay. So you get five counter sheets worth of goodness there. You got a player aid card. Here's your uh, direct fire table, melee table, uh, some roll modification charts, ordnance fire table. And your terrain chart, which will explain uh, the different features um, specific to these maps, which may not be in the other maps, including there's a pool. So, let me take a squat. There's rice paddies, bamboo huts. They obviously have different, something that wouldn't have appeared in a World War II, at least European front game. The rules reference card helps you found that these work really great in terms of being able to just quick reminders of iconography that, that works on all the games. So you get used to, you know, this means do a check, this means roll one dice, this means what your result is. Uh, so these are really helpful and then they can help you look up the rules as well. So it's a double sided. Um, but all these are uh, coated cardstock. They're very nice, full color. And here's the Hero reference. I'm telling you about for these hero markers. So this will give you more of the details as to what the uh, uh, different skills for the heroes, uh, the special abilities they get from that are. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, you've heard me say this. And I'll say it again for in case you haven't. Um, this is probably a little too big. This could really be smaller because it's already small print. A lot of these are small print. Um, so you're not you're not saving anything having the uh, having the small print on there so I would love to see this as a smaller little booklet or something because you're only going to reference this occasionally turn track okay. casually is different a couple of charts you might need single sided so you won't have to worry about flipping it in the middle of the game Let's sequence cool play chart all right, guide you through what you're supposed to be doing. And then uh, your ordnance weapons, uh, reminders of the we you know, the weapons, the mortars, ordnance, how the fire works, so on and so forth. So let's have these ready references at your disposal during the game. And of course, maps. Looks like we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maps. Open up, let you take a look. We are single sided here. So there's one, they're geomorphic, so they you know they go together to form your battlefield and sometimes they'll go upside down, whatever. Right. So now don't look. You can go swimming in the pool. And get somebody up here and go, ah, and they fall in the pool. Okay. So map number three, also single sided. And I'm thinking, since these are uh, you know, rice paddies, huts, larger buildings, I'm thinking that since uh, this is the um, the modern era, that this may be the first, was the first in the modern era games for them, because the maps are starting over at one, one through nine, so it must have been an expansion as well. So. That's just my little amateur sleuthing. A little more jungle here. A little more close combat. going to be necessary, obviously. All these are shingle sided. Big rice paddy. Big rice paddy. Big open, open area there. So we go one through five. 
And we have eight and nine. So set six and seven get you somewhere else, memory wise. This is all jungle. Wow. Or are we supposed to say rainforest now? I have no idea. I'll call it jungle. All right. So there are your seven maps. All right. So inside Heroes of the Nam, from Luckalo Tactical, you're going to get seven maps. Fold those over. And the X maps, the larger Xs, should be available uh, for sale on the Lock and Load store. So you can look up there. If you, like I, like I do, prefer the larger maps, make it a lot easier to put counters on there. So you're going to get the seven maps. You're going to see it's a play chart. Get a turn track. Get a hero skill reference card. You get a... I say hero, but those sometimes officers and leaders have have skills, I do believe. So, uh, double-sided, uh, over double-sized, double double-sided world reference card. Player eight card terrain chart. Five, five sheets of easy to punch. Wonderful, beautifully printed counters. The core rules manual for 1960 modern era to present. And the modern module rules and scenarios booklet. Dose dice. And that is what we're going to get inside of Heroes of the Nile. Lock and Load Tactical System by Lock and Load Publishing. Thanks so much for watching and God bless you. Bye bye. Oh.